So now that you watched the entire video, you're probably asking yourself, Tommy, what do you think about the app now? Do you think Tally is good? Are you going to start using Tally? Did Bethy convince you? And here's my main thing, right? If you notice in this interview, I did a lot more listening than I did talking because he had a lot of good information to actually tell me, right? And this is what I discovered me personally, right? I discovered that Tally is actually a good app and I like how it works. It's very user friendly and it actually has a good mission statement and it actually just wants to automate the entire thing of actually paying that down, right? And I think it's great. And I think it's a good middleman to actually cut out the credit cards and actually offer you a lower interest rate. But the reason that I myself can offer Tally to my customers, well, not customers, to my subscribers, to you guys, is because there are better alternatives out there. For example, if you do a credit union, it's between 7% and maybe 70% if you have bad credit. Good credit is 6%. And by the way, I have all this information down in the description down below. And I'm not saying tally lower your interest rate to 5.49% like some of these big, big loan consolidation companies. Because I get it. You're just starting out and you need to make money to actually build up the entire thing. But I can't recommend it until you guys get to that level because there are alternatives. And I can't say that just for the sake of convenience to do this because I don't see like I don't see a way that convenience can be worth so much money. You know what I mean? But also I like Tally, and I believe that if Tally actually lowers the interest rates, right, it can actually be the best app out there, and it can actually take advantage of the entire market, because right now, nobody else is doing this. You know, banks are doing the same thing, credit unions are doing the exact same thing, but because Tally is on a phone, and millennials love phones, I myself love phones, like, the moment that I got my first Chase app, I was able to send, like, like um, I was able to send cash to my friends and all these things. I love that. You know, I love using my phone to actually do everything I have to do. I don't like going to the bank. I don't like doing all this stuff. I don't like calling people. I like doing everything from the convenience of my phone, right? But if Tally was able to lower the interest rate and actually make it the number one app when it comes to all these things, it would be booming, you know? And by the time the banks actually caught on to this entire thing, it'll be too late because it would take off. And by the way, do I see a future for Tally? I do see a future for Tally. And... I believe that maybe in the near future, they might just get bought out. I hope they don't get bought out. I hope they don't, I hope they don't sell out. I hope that she stick to it, lower the interest rates, and actually, you're going to see a whole bunch of new customers actually flow in because there's literally no competition if you do that. And another point I wanted to mention is that Bethy did mention this, right? She mentioned a study that was done that people that actually consolidate their debt, right, end up mostly, most of the time, like three years on the line, 70% of them actually end up in the same place or actually worse off, right? Or actually worse off, right? So I asked her in the interview, I asked her, you saw me ask her, I said, well, what is Tally going to do to make that permanent, to make that person like not go back to that same hole again, right? She said, well, Tommy, we're actually going to, we can't guarantee anything because it's a personal choice. And I do think it's a personal choice. But what we're doing is this entire thing where we actually show the person how long it's going to take them to actually pay off the debt if they keep spending money as they spend. And here's my thing on that, right? Banks and credit cards have been doing the same thing for so long. If you go on your if you go on your credit card statement, it shows you how long it's going to take if you keep paying the minimum. It shows you how long it's going to take if you pay more. So all these things have already been done, you know? Even if, even, even if Tally does it or the credit card does it, people just don't care. There are people out there that just don't care about it and they're just going to get right back to the same thing, you know? And there's not enough data out there on Tally because it just started out, right? But I guarantee you that in 10 years or like 7 years, if the company lasts that long, and I think it will because it's a good company, like it's going to be the same thing. You know, like people are going to get out of debt and they're going to just go right back into debt and go right back into the loop. Instead of paying 24%, they're going to be paying 90% with Tally or maybe 7% or maybe 8%. It doesn't matter, but it's still the same thing. They're still in debt. You know what I mean? So that's not going to change. And the last thing I want to talk about is the entire thing where I said, well, if you're paying Tally interest and you're also paying the credit card interest, what's the sense of doing that, right? What's the sense of having two people to actually pay interest to? Maybe even three people if you have three credit cards, right? And here's my main thing, right? If you owe like $10,000, right? And Tally approves you for five thousand, right? And they pay five thousand dollars of that balance, and they actually charge you like nineteen point nine nine percent, or maybe even eight percent. Doesn't matter, right? Here's the thing: you still get to save money because they paid off some of the capital, so the interest is going to be lower on those cards, and then the interest rate with them is actually lower, so it's still lower. You still save some money. So here's my thing, right? Tally does save you money, and it's actually good, right? So in conclusion, what do I think about the entire Tally thing, right? Here's my main thing, right? that it sounds like the average consumer isn't going to know the difference either way, right? So they're actually going to go with Tally. But for the people that don't want to be the regular consumer, the people that actually want to know what's actually going on with their finances and actually make a difference, here's my thing, right? Here's what I recommend. I recommend you shop around first before you actually sign up for Tally. Shop around. See what a credit union has to offer. See what a bank has to offer. See what an online lender has to offer. And after you see all those offers, right? And if you go to Tally and they offer you something better, 
then go with Tally. Because Tally is actually good, and it's actually a good app, and it's actually interactive, and it's actually good to actually see everything work that way. It's actually very good, right? But here's my thing, right? I don't think Tally is ever going to win if you do that shopping around stuff, because you're going to find someone that actually does it for cheaper. But if Tally was to lower the entire rate, Tally would always win, 100% guarantee. Guys, my name is Tony Bryson. If you don't know me, you know me now. And thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and comment and like. And every single comment gets the video a thousand views. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it out. And by the way, comment down below. Let me know if you still think that Tally is a great app. If you still think that I'm wrong. If you think that I'm good. What do you think about Bethany and what she had to say? What do you think about me in this interview? Do you guys want to see more videos like this? I'll see you guys in the next time. And thanks for watching and peace. You've got to start at the bottom If you're ever gonna reach the top You've gotta watch all the CGs